question number one is, how long does it take for the booster dose to kick in and start giving you protection? Question number two is, how long will the booster dose last? Meaning, how long will that protection last? And question number three is, will we have to get additional boosters and when? Uh, let's just jump right in. Lots to answer, right, guys? I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. So excited you're with me. By the way, first of all, get that booster as soon as you can, meaning as soon as you're eligible to get it, because we do need that additional protection. So don't delay. If you already got your primary series, half the work, over half the work is done. Uh, so go ahead and get that booster. All right. Question number one is how long does it take for that booster dose to kick in? Well, good news is as soon as you get the booster dose, it starts kind of revving up in your body. It starts kind of percolating and working and doing its thing. Um, I would say it takes at least one to two weeks for you to start getting to that optimal protection level. Um, so you're not fully protected instantly. Okay. It just starts that process. But I would say two weeks is a fair um, estimation for when it it's really starting to rev up in your body and giving you uh, the most protection, okay? Uh, question number two, which is a very good question you guys have been asking, which is, how long will this protection last? I mean, how long is this protection good for? Um, great question. You know, honestly, I wish we knew. That's one thing, you know, when you get a new virus or a new bug, that's kind of like, that's like the thing about it is when you start developing vaccines and stuff, sometimes you don't know how long that protection is going to last uh, against the bug or virus, in this case, COVID-19. Right now, we don't know how long our booster protection is going to last or uh, that type of thing. So the verdict, honestly, is still out about this, but it's a very fair question and one that's very reasonable. Um, question number three is, um, let's see here, when are we going to need to get a new booster or another booster? Um, and how often will we need another booster uh, and more boosters, right? Um, will we need more? That's also a question too, guys. I wish I knew, but the truth is we don't know the answer to that as well. We don't know when we're going to need a new booster. We're, we, don't, we don't know if we need another booster. And we also don't know if we need another booster, uh, if we're going to need multiple boosters in the future. I've done videos on this before. Remember, there are many vaccines that we need booster doses for and that you get multiple vaccines. So if anyone, if you ever hear anyone say, oh, booster means it's not working and blah, 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 and stop it. Because we know uh, we get flu shots every year. We know that we get tetanus boosters every 10 years or so. We know that uh, polio uh, vaccines or multiple vaccines. I mean, look, there's so many vaccines that have multiple doses in the series and or boosters. So don't let that scare you off. Um, but as soon as I know if we need another booster, how long our protection will last with the booster and how often we need uh, additional boosters, if that's the case, I'll make sure to let you know. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I'm so glad you're here. If you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Please, uh, please do. And uh, for those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. I cannot thank you enough. And for those of you who are on uh, YouTube, hello. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'll, I'll come back to you with more videos. Uh, keep it locked here. I'll see you soon. Bye.